Alright guys, how you doing? Uh, currently 8 o'clock, Friday evening, uh, time to start the vlog. So, on my way, uh, we're going to go ahead and visit a couple uh, good friends. We're going to have a uh, campfire, so on my way to meet up with them. Not sure where this guy lives, so uh, taking you right along with me. See you soon. Alright guys, 8.39, we got ourselves a nice campfire here. <laughs> you can move that food over. Hi, Nick. Good here. Hi, Nick. Say hi to the vlog. Um, you know, Emily watches these vlogs. <laughs> so I'm leaving. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, we need to talk about this, this hotel business. Give this to Brandon. Oh, jeez. Oh, so you already booked it. No, that's an estimate. That's just one room though, right? Yeah. yeah, and then on the other side there's, I got the one room and then there's two rooms. What is that? For hotel. For the concert in Green Bay. Yeah. It's Bowman's brother. Oh yeah. Oh. Hi. Hi. What? Hey guys. <laughs> I don't know what he's supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? Oh, don't post oh. that. <laughs> Eddie knows what to put and what not. So. Oh yeah, guys, I'm good. I I I wouldn't jeopardize any of your health. <laughs> so. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just having a nice fun time. <laughs> That's a Twinkie on the fire, folks. A little bit too long, if you know what I'm saying. Hell yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just having a great old time, folks. Currently 10:37 uh, in the evening. <laughs> All right, folks. So I actually got up this morning and decided um, I'm not going to go to the uh, Beefarama today. Just wasn't really feeling it. So, anyways. I decided not to go either because there's way too many people, so I mean, I guess it's kind of a joint decision, you know, but. Alright guys, uh, so we're going to go ahead and just uh, take a drive here. around that bend is gotta be on the other side. All right, folks, uh, we have Trevor here. You've seen him on a whole bunch of my vlogs. He's got an Android, uh, which, which Android version is this? This is the Samsung Galaxy S5. It is supposed to be the dust proof or dust resistant, water resistant phone, and it actually has proven to do those things, but uh, really who's going to use their phone in the water? I mean, that's kind of pointless, but... Uh, so, and Trevor, you watched the keynote uh, with me um, September 9th. You actually came over, and um, there's a reason here. You're switching to the iPhone 6S Plus. Um, the main reason behind that? You know, just software seems to be defects with the, the user interface, the applications don't like to work as good as they should. The battery life is terrible. I'm on my third battery in this phone in the last year, year and a half, just about, so um, it's, it's time. 
after all the technical issues and and I've been an Android lover since they came out with smartphones but it's time to uh, to switch to iOS so the size on the phone the size it is it's it's just about this phone can fit basically right in it right on the glass yeah, part right of on the it. glass and this phone here is a little bit bigger which I do like the bigger screen I do have fat fingers so uh, fat finger typing on a smaller screen isn't going to work as well uh, but like I said it's time to upgrade after nearly a year and a half and uh, it's just time to switch to something better you'll go to charge your phone and you will you'll plug it in there and the plug will come out now you see this has a the double wide it's supposed to be for rapid charging, mm -hmm. but a regular micro USB works as well. Um, it's just a pain in the butt because you'll know, plug it in. <laughs> that, that just broke. <laughs> Perfect timing. But you'll plug it in, and all of a sudden the cord will literally pull out. So. All right, and then folks, you have to remember, this is just one guy's review. You know, there are people that switch from iPhone to Android. Vice versa, Trevor, you're switching from an Android to to iPhone today. So we're going to go ahead and um, let's see if that app downloaded on your Android phone. That, that uh, Apple has released a new app um, for this version of the iPhone. It's actually called Move to iOS and it's supposed to transfer all of your data into the cloud. So we're going to go ahead and see how easily uh, this works. Uh, yep. You have to hit choose other network and we'll go ahead and type that in. Okay. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Um, folks, basically what we did is we just uh, put the, um, the code in for the network here, so we'll see what this does. Okay, now folks, this is what we need. Uh, move data from Android. Go ahead and select that. Alright. Go ahead and uh, continue on the iPhone here. Folks, uh, while that's going, uh, we did get some bacon, so I'm going to let you look at that bacon while Trevor's entering in that code. It's connecting. It's preparing. Move from Android. Move to iOS. And I will tell you that the, the issue I had when they when Verizon had me factory reset the phone, all my apps are redownloaded from the Verizon cloud. All right, folks, it's basically got everything on there. So it says transferring right now. It's transferring from the Samsung. This is actually pretty neat. This is the first time I'm personally witnessing this app being used. Um, and if you go on the App Store on the Android side, the Google Play Store, um, there's a lot of one-star reviews, and it's kind of ridiculous because it's basically Android people who are basically saying, why would you want to switch from Android to iOS? And, um, you know, the app itself looks pretty solid. I mean, we didn't have any issues... Um, you know, downloading the app or anything, uh, but we'll see exactly how this works. We're at 3%, 4% uh, right now. It looks like it's doing its job fairly well. Actually, this is a lot easier than I would have thought. All right, folks, we're just checking on this here. Uh, currently at 23%. Um, we got a little review going on here. Um, we've actually tried the other two flavors that they've had, um, the Euro and the uh, New, New York Reuben, and uh, we haven't tried the uh, biscuits and gravy and the truffle fries, but I've actually heard from several people that the uh, truffle fries are actually the way to go. So Trevor, do you have anything to comment? Go ahead and uh, well, give that a try. It says southern biscuits and gravy. Obviously we're not from the south, but I do love me some biscuits and gravy. So. Alright, let's see. I have to have a few more. It gets my thumbs up. Mm. Honestly, that's pretty dead on. It is dead I on. I can taste the gravy. Mm -hmm. Big time. Alright folks, we're going to go ahead and try the uh, truffle fries here. Ooh, I like them. That they're wavy. They're wavy lays. Alright, you got us both here. West Coast. Oh, wow, that's a wow, good chip. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. De definitely, uh, 
definitely a different taste to it. Me, personally, I like the biscuits and gravy actually a little bit more. Trevor, what do you think? The truffle too. or the biscuits and gravy? And, you know, your taste will differ for sure. Man, but I, like you said, you can taste the gravy. Yeah. Mm. Definitely worth it. Both of these. I do like these, too. But biscuits and gravy, man. Yeah. All right, folks, that's just uh, two guys' uh, honest reviews. Let's go ahead and uh, check back on the transfer. Still going. All right, folks, we'll check back with you in a bit. All right, folks, while that's going, oven's preheated. Get some bacon going. Get this party started on a Saturday evening here. All right, folks, uh, sorry I left you in the dark here. Um, We just took the bacon out here. We got more bacon here to cook, so we're going to get going on that. Uh, we're still doing the process from the um, transfer from Android iOS, so we'll keep you up to date with that. All right, folks, just to clue you in, um, we actually had to call Apple because it would actually fail uh, the process around 44%. So um, we tried a couple different things, and we've come to the realization um, we were at my folks' place. They have extremely uh, low-speed DSL internet. And that's probably the issue that we were running into. So um, I'm at my apartment right now, and uh, she's going to call us back actually any minute now just to see if it's working here. So I uh, just got here, and I'm starting the process over. So if this works, guys, uh, for future reference, if you use this, make sure you have a high-speed Internet connection, not a low-speed DSL um, or like a satellite Internet um, it won't work, but we'll keep you up to date on if this works or not. Alright guys, uh, currently heading back to my folks' house. We're going to go ahead and uh, cook some more bacon. Uh, currently 10.14 in the evening. And honestly, this took a lot longer than I thought. That's okay. I learned uh, quite a bit of stuff. The main problem with uh, Trevor's phone is it kept disconnecting from the Wi-Fi network. Uh, both my folks' place, which is where we were before, and my network. Uh, so I talked to the lady, uh, Kimberly, um, Trevor and myself did. Um, she was on the phone with us for about a total of an hour and 45 minutes, almost two hours. Very nice, very polite and helpful. Um, it wasn't working at my folks' house, and I tried to explain to her about the internet connection, and we thought that it was possibly the internet connection. That's why it was dropping. So went to my place. You know, I got Charter 60 megs down. You know, um, I think it's like 15 megs up as well. Um, I was doing it there, too, right at 44%. Um, the lady has never heard of this happening. Um, and we looked into it, and it was actually the Samsung kept dropping the internet connection. So... Um, Samsung's got some issues, and it's not really all that surprising, honestly, because they don't want you switching. You know, he, he was having problems with his phone. This is, Trev, is this your second phone? I mean, did they send you a replacement, or is this still your first one? This is, well, this is my, I want to say third Samsung phone, but I've had problems almost with every single one of them, and I wish I would have switched sooner, but... You know, you live and learn, and uh, you know I'm I'm never going back now that I'm with with uh, iOS, and you just see the clarity and the sharpness of the iPhone, and you know even even they said during the the keynote presentation that uh, more and more people are switching from Android. Well, can you blame them? It just needs a factory reset. Well, that didn't do anything. If anything, it made it worse. So yeah, I I mean, folks, there are people that don't like iPhone and I mean there's a good majority of people who have left iOS and went to Android and you know what they're happy um, so you know me personally you know I'm more of a fan towards iOS because it just works um, for, for me but you know I'm not slamming anyone we're not slamming anyone you know if, if you want to stick with the Android if that's your your choice you know uh, more power to you um, I personally just I don't care for the majority of the Android phones. I haven't found an Android phone that I've actually been happy with, and I don't plan on switching because iOS does what I need it to do, and it works perfect with my products that I have. I got a MacBook. It works, you know, it works perfectly with it. And you know what? To each his own. Um, I can't give you a definitive answer. You can tell me what your needs are, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll base my answer based on your needs. But uh, Trevor here 
he's super happy with his new iPhone purchase and, and, and I'm glad he finally decided to try something different and he's really enjoying his experience. If you're not happy with the device that you're using, you know, change it. All right, folks, we just wanted to clue you in on, you know, what was going on, our experiences, and um, eventually we did get um, your contacts and that uh, transferred to your phone. We had to use the Verizon app, um, and actually that dropped the connection quite a bit of times too, so we kept on restarting that app, and eventually we got all your stuff backed up, but it did take quite a few tries to get that backed up. Overall, that's our experience. We'll keep you guys posted. We're at my folks' place again. We're going to go ahead and cook some more bacon. All right, guys, it is Sunday evening. Anything you want to say to the vlog, Trev? Good job, Kevin Harvick, screwing up today in the race. Um, good job, Bears. <laughs> Poor Kyle. Now, Trev, you've owned your iPhone for about a day now. Let's see it. I'm thoroughly satisfied. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. I, am, I am thoroughly satisfied with the, yeah. the screen ability. Yeah. Your screen is the size of my phone. Uh -huh. Yep. I'm, you have the 6, and that's the 6S Plus. I just love the way that uh, you can do this. How did the Bears do today? The Bears were subjugated by the Seahawks today. The final score was 26 to 0. How did the Packers do today? The Packers are not playing today. Their next game is against the Chiefs tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. I just love Siri. Siri's cool. Kyle, yes. Oh I my love God. that. I know. I can't oh wait for mine. God. I know. Yeah. I love that. Oh, did I show you this? Get a load of this. Watch. 3D Go picture. to the camera. Yeah, I know. Take selfie. Yeah. I know. Take selfie, Kyle. It even has a selfie button. I know. And the How front, smart is that? The front screen flashes when you take a picture on the front. Mm -hmm. I know. Optical image stabilization, Kyle. Uh, I know. So overall, Trev, would, would you go back to your old phone or would you keep this one? I would never go back to my old phone for anything. Um, I honestly wish I would have got an iPhone sooner, but now that I have the iPhone, it's... It's going to be hopefully nothing but greatness from here on out. So Yeah, and, and Trev, as I was telling people, not just you, people who are on the fence between getting another Android phone or switching to, you know, to, to iOS, this phone is the breakthrough because all the features that are jam-packed into this is definitely something to think about and for most people to even consider. Just giving it a try. For those of you on the fence... Choose the iPhone. Don't don't say, oh, well, if I just get one more Samsung, or if I get one more, uh, say I get one more Motorola, or one more HTC. No, 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 no. If you are on the fence, jump off the fence and run to get your iPhone. I couldn't agree more. I've had iPhones since. God, I had my BlackBerry, and then since that happened, that was in eighth grade. I had my BlackBerry ever since. You know. A senior in college now, and um, ever since freshman year of high school, that's when I got my first iPhone. I think it was an iPhone 3GS. I think so. There you go. Bought that one, loved it, kept going with the iPhones. Now I'm on the iPhone 6. So I'll keep going as long as they keep producing top quality products. And as Apple always does, I have an I have a MacBook Pro, I have an iPad, I have everything I have is Apple. So. I definitely suggest you uh, transitioning, making the transition, maybe to a Mac. If not, iPhone's a good place to start. I couldn't agree more. All right, folks, and you know my story. I've shared it in um, at least one of the past vlogs, um, my experience <coughs> with uh, Windows Phone and Android as well. Um, I'm currently an iOS user. Uh, first iPhone I purchased was actually the iPhone 4S with the Siri. That's actually what drew me in. And uh, compared the 4S, you know, to the 6S and the 6S Plus, Siri sounds totally different and so much improved. You can actually have a conversation with her now. So, guys, with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this weekend's vlog. Make sure you guys follow me on social media. And, guys, we'll look forward to talking with you this next weekend. 
And, like I always say, guys, and until next time.